And we welcome you to Jersey Blues Baseball as Brookdale takes on Ocean this afternoon. And we're underway with the first pitch swung on and missed. Ocean, who comes in three straight losses on the year after a good start to their season. And they come to bat in the opening inning against Ryan Cole, who deals with the over-the-head motion. And it missed a little bit low. A ball and a strike. Ryan O'Rourke leading off for the Vikings. And he'll be followed in the opening inning by Carl Barth and Trevor Colton back. And the 1-1 delivery is down and in the dirt. Picked up there by Troche. Two balls and a strike. And the 2 1 on the way, swung on and missed. Uh, the count 2 and 2. O'Rourke, who is a dangerous hitter for Ocean, a 448 batter coming into the day. A home run, seven driven in. Ocean has hit three home runs on the season, and they've all come in their last game. Just got a piece of that one. Work from down in South Jersey, Little Leg Harbor, New Jersey. Leading off this ball game as we play two this afternoon, seven inning affairs. And a swing and a miss to get things started as Cole gets him with the off speed pitch. And that's the first out of the day. So one out brings up Carl Barth. Left-handed hitter. The base is empty and one out. First pitch. Down low, 1-0. and oh. Ryan Cole making start for Brookdale, and he's also the number three hitter in the lineup. This one is bounced on the ground to first, and Wade up with it and takes it to the bag, two out. So Cole has set down the first two Vikings, and now we'll go after Trevor Colton back, the first baseman. Colton back hitting an even 400, and he's hit one of the three Viking home runs. First pitch to him, it's off the glove of Troche as it goes to the fence behind the plate. A home run, 10 driven in for the Ocean first baseman. Batting with the bases empty, and he drives one out to center field. That sends Bauman back, way back. He can't get it over his head, and bouncing up against the wall. And now bounding away from him as Colton back pulls in, and he's got a two-out double. Third double of the year and his fifth extra base hit. So a two-out base runner in scoring position for the Vikings. And the cleanup hitter, Devin Smith now. Right-hand hitter, Cole from the stretch with the first pitch. Swing and a miss as he had Smith out in front. Owen won the count. And a line drive left center field. That's a base hit. That might score the game's first run as Colton back turns third. He's headed home. He's in. And so two straight hits with two out. And Ocean produces a run here in the first inning and lead it 1 0. RBI single for Devin Smith. He's now driven in eight runs. And Colin Mattis chat now, the designated hitter. Runner at first, two down, and the first pitch to him. He could not hold up on the half swing. 0 oh 1.
Cole is 2-0 on the season, and prior to the run he allowed, this inning had not given up an earned run in 14 innings of work. This is with that breaking ball, and the count even a ball and a strike. Right-hander, four walks, 18 strikeouts coming in. Got a runner at first to deal with. That's Smith who takes his lead. And the 1-1 one -one pitch. 2-1. and one. It was Cole who came on in relief on Sunday. Game one of that doubleheader against Salem and got the final three outs for the save. Line drive. That's in the right field and that's a base hit. Smith to second, and that's three straight hits, and all have been hit solidly. That's going to prompt a first inning conversation. Johnny Johnson out to the mound. Cole retired the first two fairly quickly, but three straight hard hits. And a run on the board for Ocean. Christian Corsion is the next hitter. Second baseman hitting at two twenty seven. No homers, four driven in. Batting from the right side, and he takes ball one on a breaking ball. Smith, the runner at second. Mattis Jad is at first. One run home for Ocean. They lead one to nothing. A ball and a strike. Corsione, sophomore out of Howell, New Jersey. Played his high school ball at Freehold Township. On this 1-1, he swings and fouls it off to the right. Another beautiful day for baseball. The air is crisp. Sunny skies overhead, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. And the 1 2 struck him out. Trosh will throw down to first. That'll end the inning. Ocean cashes one against Cole. Brookdale comes to bat down 1 0. Brookdale comes to bat against the lefty Brian Yadlin. Jersey Blues in a 1 0 hole as Nick Lavarco leads things off. And the first pitch from the southpaw is swung on and missed. Or maybe just got a piece for Lavarco as it goes off the catcher's glove. The count 0 and 1. Lavarco, Bauman, Ryan Cole for Brookdale in their opening inning. So they try to get back even. And the 0 1 on the way. Big swing and a miss. The count 0 and 2. Varco, 444 batter this season. He's driven in 16 runs, having an outstanding season as the Brookdale leadoff man. But he goes down on three pitches, and Yadlin has his first strikeout. That one out, Christian Bauman steps in now for the first time. Bauman coming off quite the game in game number two of the doubleheader Sunday as he takes strike one. Four hits and hit for the cycle. The double that he was credited with was a close call whether it was a hit or an error, but ruled a double and thus Bauman gets the cycle. Part of a Brookdale romping of a win, 15-3 to as they swept the Mighty Oaks. Winning 8-6 in game one. That's on the outside corner. Count one and two. Bam in the overall numbers. 378, four homers, 19 driven in. Hit his fourth home run of the year in that 
game number two as that one bounces in. still has been making a habit of falling behind in games, but it hasn't really mattered much. So they faced 5 nothing deficits two games recently. But overcame them both in two victories. Full count on Bauman. And a high pop-up. Drifting into foul ground O'Rourke, hoping for a play, and he has room. Bauman's the second out. Ryan Cole will take his turn with the bases empty and two down. And Yadlin deals. Breaking ball in the dirt. Big tall left hander for the Vikings, six foot one. Out of Tinton Falls, New Jersey. Brings the 1-0 pitch. The count 2-0. Cole looking for a bounce back game at the plate after being held hitless in the doubleheader against Salem. 0 for 6. Here's the 2-0. And there's a strike. And even with that little dry spell, he's hitting 333 for the season. A home run and nine runs batted in. Takes that one above the letters in the count three and one. Adlin comes in with an earned run average under one. He has been Vikings' best pitcher. There's a diving stop at third by O'Rourke. Gets up and throws in time. A nice play at the hot corner by O'Rourke. Takes a potential hit away from Cole. Brookdale down 1-2-3 after 1-1-0 one. One Ocean. Top of the second inning. Game one of our doubleheader. Brookdale and Ocean. And Ryan Cole starts the second inning with ball one. Vikings send up the lower third of the order. 7-8-9 hitters starting with Alex Alonzo. Sophomore shortstop. Who swings and fouls went off to the right. Brookdale defensively behind Cole. They have Johnson, Bauman, Lavarco left to right in the outfield. Colbert, Lomangino left side of the infield. Carter and Wade on the right side. And a battery of Cole and Troche. Another foul ball off the bat of Alonzo. It's one of the regulars for Ocean. A 231 hitter. No homers. Four batted in. Leading off this top of the second inning on 1-2. He hits one out to right field, but Lavarco gets over to grab it. And there's one away. So one out for Donnie Kirk, eighth hitter in the order, getting the start in left field. And Cole brings the first one, a strike. Ocean, an even 500 record on the season. They are at four and four, played considerably less games than Brookdale. As that's out to right field, Lavarco can't get this one. And a one out single for Donnie Kirk. So now the number nine hitter, Eli McEwen. Right hand hitting catcher. Now at Tom's River, New Jersey. That's where. Ocean plays their home games in a first pitch breaking ball for a strike. But Ocean's only been in Tom's River for one home game thus far, and they've only played one true road game. The rest 
come neutral sites and they played down south. There's a big cut and a miss in the count 0 and 2. And they started the year with three straight wins, won four of their first five, but falling on hard times over their last three. Three straight losses to drop them to 500. Swing and a foul back. And they're coming off what was a pretty crazy game in which there were 33 combined runs and an 18-15 defeat against CCBC Dundalk School down in Baltimore. That one kicks away from Troche and taking second is Kirk. So runner in scoring position. Ocean has scored first run of the game and lead one to nothing. Hole to McEwen with a 1-2. In there, strike three called. Breaking ball over the inside corner. And he's got his third strikeout. First time through the order. Two out. Now Ryan O'Rourke steps to the plate for the second time in two innings. And he takes a fastball just off the corner, 1-0. Cole got the better of O'Rourke in the first inning, striking him out. But he is a tough out in this Ocean lineup, their best. 448 batting average. It's a shot out to center field. Bauman back a few steps. He's got it. And that will retire the side, so a hit and one left in the second. Brookdale coming up in the bottom of the second, down one nothing. Marcus Johnson leading off for Brookdale in the bottom of the second inning. one nothing Ocean with the lead here in game one, and ball one in the dirt. Brian Yadlin retired the Jersey Blues, 1-2-3 in the first. It's been the Best pitcher for the Vikings this season, but Johnson shoots one the other way, and he's got a base hit. Lead-off single for Johnson as he extends his hitting streak now to 11 straight. And Joe Lomangino digs in for the first time. And he swings away at the first pitch, and it's a foul ball, 0-1. Well, Mangino, a 351 hitter. Two home runs, 15 runs batted in. Johnson taking his lead off first. A little bit low, 1-1. One and one. And that goes off the catcher's glove. Johnson alertly takes second, and he'll make it standing. Pinch that McEwen could not catch cleanly with the glove. And so Brookdale now with a man in scoring position. 2-1 count on Lomangino. The pitch. Swing a high fly ball right field. Backing up a few steps, Barth. He's underneath it. Makes the catch. Johnson tags, and he makes it to third. So a productive out for Lomangino to advance the runner. As Brookdale looks to get the score back even. They've got the right guy at the plate to try to do that, and Darius Troche. He has been a very tough out. He swings at the first pitch. Fly ball, well hit right field. Long run, Barth can't get it. Johnson in to score the tying run. Troche to second. He's got an RBI double. And the game even at 1-1. One, one. So 
Roche not wasting any time as he picks up his 16th run batted in and adds to a 492 batting average. That just may put him right at or near 500 with that extra base hit. As John Wade takes ball one. Wade has seen some of the time at first base this year. Right hand hitter on 1 0 on the inside corner. A ball and a strike. Brian Yadlin has been stingy as far as allowing runs, but Brookdale's gotten him here in the second. And Wade lays off a high fastball, 2 and 1. Wade has made the most of his at-bats. He hasn't been an everyday regular, but when he's been in there, 448 with the batting average. And he hits a line shot over second base, hit going into right center field. They wave home Trosh. He scores easily. John Wade with a solid run scoring single, and Brookdale takes a 2-1 lead. Thirteenth run batted in for Wade as Brookdale's hit some shots in the inning. Caleb Carter hitting eighth in the order. He swings away. High fly down the right field line. Moving over Barth to make the catch. Now now Nick Colbert. Hitting ninth in the order. Switch hitter who showed off some power in game two on Sunday, hitting his first of the year as he takes a breaking ball for ball one. Brookdale went yard three times in that game. Bauman and Johnson were the home run hitters. One ball and one strike. Colbert at 290 with that one homer to go along with eight driven in. Runner at first and two out, an inning where Brookdale has taken the lead as Colbert squares to bunt, but and he takes it in the dirt. And a little bouncer back to the mound. Yadlin off the mound to play it. That retires the side, but Brookdale scores two to take the lead. Trosh, another run driven in with a double. After two, 2-1 two Brookdale. And we move to the top of the third inning on the campus of Brookdale Community College. Ocean coming to bat here against Ryan Cole. Brings the first pitch, and it's a fastball over for a strike. It's the two, three, and four hitters for the Vikings. Brookdale up by a run now, 2-1. to 1-1. One. One one. Trevor Colton back on deck, and then Devin Smith for Ocean. And line down the left field side, foul ball. Carl Barth hit a ground ball unassisted, put out for the first baseman. His first time up, 0 for 1. Cole's ahead of him, 1 and 2. And that one's lashed the other way, foul. Barth looking to get the batting average up. It came in at 207. Ocean has a team, though, over 300 for the year. They're Problems have been more on the pitching side. They've had plenty of games where they've scored big run totals. In fact, three with 10 or more runs. Swing and a miss. And Barth goes down on the elevated fastball as Cole has his fourth strikeout.
So one out, Trevor Colton back. Who doubled over the head of Bauman in center field and scored the only ocean run. That was in the first inning. 1-0. and oh. Ocean was able to string together three straight hits against Cole in that opening inning. But Brookdale getting them back in the bottom of the second and lead 2-1. to one. Cole behind here, 2-0. and oh. Goes to the off-speed pitch and finds the strike zone, 2-1. Now the 3-1 pitch. An emergency swing as Colton Beck was tied up on that fastball running up and in. Cole has not walked to batter so far. He's got a three-ball count here as he deals the payoff. And now he issues his first as Colton Beck is on for a second straight time. And a one-out base runner. Devin Smith, his second turn at bat, and he had a base hit in the first inning. Picked up a run batted in. One on, one out, first pitch. Taken for ball one. This team's meeting up for the first time this season. They were scheduled to play yesterday at Ocean. But that game was moved and will now be played tomorrow. So there is a strike. So they got the doubleheader today and then one game down in Tom's River tomorrow. Brookdale had the upper hand in this season matchup last year, winning all three times. Swing and a miss to get ahead in the count one and two. This coal comes set and deals in the dirt. Ocean a run on four hits thus far, but it's Brookdale with the two to one lead. Two, two on its way to Smith, swinging its hit on the ground. Ranging wide, low Mangino makes the throw on the run on a hop too late. So an infield hit for Smith. Colton back takes second. And runners at first and second with one out here in the third. Low Mangino ranging wide to his right and made the throw on target on a bounce, but Smith just a little bit too quick. So Colin Mattis chat, and he takes ball one. Mattis chat out of Point Pleasant. It's a first year Viking. 259 hitter. Two driven in as he's yet to hit a home run. Time called at the plate. And now Cole is ready with the 1-0. One, oh. one and one. Mattis Chad had a base hit his first time up. Pickoff throw at second and he is out. Oh, 
Cole with the quick move. Caught Colton back too far off second, and they nail him for the second out of the inning. Now Cole one out away from getting out of the inning as he deals in the dirt and Trosh blocks that one. Mattis Chet, the designated hitter for Ocean in this game one. 1-0 one -oh pitch, up high. Three and one is the count on Mattis Chet. The runner at first and two out now is Cole. Ready and deals. Runner fakes the go. Pitch is flared out to shallow right center field. And Lavarco comes in to make the grab and end the inning. So helped out on the base running miscue. The pickoff play at second. Ocean held off the board in the third. It's Brookdale with a 2-1 lead. Brookdale comes to bat in this spot of the third inning with Nick Lavarco taking up high ball one. Top of the order up for the Jersey Blues. In front in the game, two to one. Swinging a ground ball and past the die that time of O'Rourke in the left field. And Lavarco's got a leadoff hit. So he extends his hitting streak to nine straight. It's two notable Brookdale hitting streaks, Lavarco and Johnson. And now Bauman, all he did is hit for the cycle in last game against Salem. Lefty to lefty. And that one bounces in, not far enough from McEwen. Bauman 0 for 1 in this game. He fouled out to the third baseman. one -oh pitch. Taken 2-0. -oh. Swinging a shot to center field, chasing Smith way back, and he... Did he make the catch? He made the catch as he slammed into the wall in center field. Oh, a terrific play by Smith, who may be shaken up after making the catch. He took an extra base hit away from Bauman. And his teammates... Go over to check on him out in deep center field. <laughs> Devin Smith making a terrific play. Well, now they just have to make sure he's okay. And he gets a round of applause from the folks on hand as he'll remain in there. And Bauman robbed of what would have at least been a double and maybe more. Orko is able to get back to first base, so one on, one out. Ryan Cole now. Lavarco takes off as Cole squares to bun and an easy stolen base. It's 
his eighth of the year. So Lavarco in scoring position. 1-0 to Cole. Swinging a shot down the line and just foul. And can't hit it much harder than Cole just did there. Just an extra base hit by a matter of inches. So the count one and one. See Adlin checks the runner deals and I got a piece of him. So Cole was hit by the pitch. Looks like it got him in the foot. And a third inning chance here for Marcus Johnson. We saw one pitch in his first at bat and delivered an opposite field single, thinking about a bun, and it's strike one. And the numbers on Johnson, well, they're very impressive. 476 batting average, three homers, and he's driven in a team high 26. Also leads the team with 12 stolen bases. Here he can't hold up on a breaking ball, and it's 0-2. Oh Barco at second, Cole at first with one out. And the big, tall Yadlin. On the ground to first. Brief bobble for Colton back, but he stays with it as the runners move to second and third. So Johnson's the second out, inning left to Lomangino. Runners at second and third, and Brookdale shortstop hit a fly ball to right field for an out his first time. Yadlin works from the full windup and deals strike one called. Two one Brookdale last to the third. Swing and a miss as Lomangino was out in front of a breaking ball. He's driven in. 15 on the season and hit two out of the park. But he's down in the count here, 0-2, as the lefty brings it in the dirt. And it's in there, strike three called, a borderline pitch. I don't think Lomangino liked the call too much, but he's out to end the inning. Brookdale strands a couple after three. It's 2-1, Jersey Blues. Top of the fourth inning as Ocean comes to bat against Ryan Cole. And ball one on Christian Corsione leading off. Six, seven, and eight hitters are scheduled for the Vikings. It's Brookdale with a two to one lead. And a ground ball and a couple of hops to Lomangino at short, and he makes the toss in time, one away. One out, nobody on for Alex Alonzo. Viking shortstop, right-hand hitter. And a strike at the letters. The count 0-1. Alonzo flied out to right field, and that was in the second inning. Hit on the ground of the right side, and this time it's Carter who sweeps it up. And two up and two set aside on ground balls. Hey, 
Now Cole looking for a fast inning as Donnie Kirk steps in. Kirk got him for a base hit in the second. Ocean a run on four hits so far as the pitch off the outside corner, one and oh. Cole has given up his first earned run of the season, but only one, and he's in front on the board, two to one, Brookdale. Two and oh the count now. Donnie Kirk hitting at 375 for the season, and he's driven in three runs as he bends away from an inside fastball. Cole behind 3 and 0. And misses ball four. A four-pitch walk, second walk given up by the right-hander, and Eli McEwen will come to the plate now. Cole got him looking his first time up, back in the second. First pitch taken for a strike. Ewan, who attended Tom's River South. Sophomore catcher on an 0-1, takes a strike. Cole hoping to strand a two-out base runner. That's Kirk, who takes his lead, and that one skips in and goes high off the fence behind home plate. Quite a ricochet that ball took as Kirk takes second base. So Ocean has that potential tying run in scoring position. As Cole is ready and his 1-2 pitch. Swing and a drive to right field toward the line. Lavarco long run, and it's out of his reach in foul territory. On our way to seven innings here in game one, then we'll have a little bit of a break before game two. And these teams will meet on Ocean's home field tomorrow. 1-2 pitch. Strike three called, and McEwen goes down looking. Ocean strands one in the fourth. It's 2-1, Brookdale. Bottom of the fourth inning as Brookdale comes up against the lefty Brian Yadlin. Jersey Blues with a 2-1 lead. And Darius Trosh taking a first pitch breaking ball, ball one. Trosh had an RBI double and scored a run when Brookdale scored both of their runs. And that was in the second inning. Trosh didn't waste any time attacking the first pitch and hitting a deep ball for a double. Here he takes outside and he's ahead in the count three and oh. There is a strike. John Wade on deck and then Caleb Carter as Brookdale has the six, seven, and eight hitters do up. And ball, no, a strike. Troche was on his way to first, but he'll have to come back. Home plate umpire has a bit of a wide strike zone today. Punched out Lomangino on a pitch that appeared to be inside. That one. Ruled to be ball four, so Trosh takes his base and a leadoff walk. Let's 
John Wade now had a single to score a run. And he moves his feet at a first pitch ball one. Big RBI for Wade, his 13th of the year. 1 0 on the way. And the count 2 and 0. Still two runs on four hits so far and a 2-1 lead. Taking a strike. Jersey Blues have not had many games that have been tight this season. We'll see if this one remains that way. Pitch off the inside corner. And even in games when they've fallen behind, as much as 5 nothing, they can turn that into an 18-7 win as they did against Atlantic Cape. That's a rocket in the left field. Base hit. Lavarca was in motion on the pitch. He'll go to third and stop there. Wade on his way to second, and that's a double. So a hit and run double for Wade. Trosh at third. And Caleb Carter. Chance here with two in scoring position. Yadlin going from the full wind. Strike one with a breaking ball. Trosh at third. Wade at second. Spokta looks to add to a one run lead. Pitch coming. That breaker missed off the outside corner. Carter at 211 with eight driven in. Two balls and a strike, and he flied to right field and is only at bat in the second inning today. Now Yadlin's going to change it up and go from the stretch on 2-1. A little bit wide, three balls and a strike. Carter, a sophomore from Newark, New Jersey, looking to pick up a couple of big runs here. Getting in a hitter's count, and he lays off, and it's ball four. So Brookdale has loaded him up. And now time is called as there will be a meeting at the mound. See, Adlin has worked himself into big trouble. The base is loaded and nobody out. Johnny Johnson having a brief word there with Nick Colbert before he takes his turn. He's got a chance to do damage. Switch hitter batting right. Base is full of Jersey Blues. 2-1 Brookdale leads. Yadlin with the first pitch. Down low ball one. Two walks and a double have put the lefty in jeopardy in this fourth inning. Now he's ready to deal the 1-0. Swinging a bouncing ball. Charging the second. Gets the out there and it'll be a double play. 4-6-3 as they double up Colbert. Trosh is in the score to make it 3-1 Brookdale. But Yadlin will take that. Trading a run for two outs. Wade now the lone base runner. 
as Lavarco steps in and takes a breaking ball strike. Lavarco one for two to extend his hitting streak. Got a single in the third, stole a base. And he takes a big cut at another off-speed pitch, and Yadlin's ahead of him. As the lefty looks to minimize trouble, looked like it could have been a big inning for Brookdale, but got big help with a double play ball. And now he strikes out Lavarco looking to end the inning, so Brookdale manages just a run. We played four, 3-1 Brookdale. Top of the fifth inning here at Brookdale. I'm Brian Gadsward here on Brookdale TV as Ryan Cole deals a strike one. To Ryan O'Rourke, Vikings have the top of the order up. Jersey Blues with a 3-1 advantage. The ball and a strike to O'Rourke, who Cole has handled so far with a strikeout and a flyout. He's 0 for 2. Over the head motion, and the 1-1 one, one crosses a little bit high. Little nubber in front of the plate, and it's a foul ball. So it was off his foot. I mentioned the last game for Ocean. They lost 18 to 15, and that was a game that they had the lead in the late innings, but gave up seven in the bottom of the eighth. And O'Rourke in that game was the hitting star for the Vikings with four hits. His first home run of the year and four driven in. Here he skies one out of play. But the Vikings made four errors in that game, and that's never a recipe for success. Four relievers combined to give up 16 earned runs. Line drive base hit. So Rourke has his first of the day and a leadoff single. Fifth hit against Cole. Sporth digs in for the from the left side now. And from the stretch. Gets the bunt down. Cole aggressively off the mound. And he makes a nice play. Sporth looking to get on with a bunt. He winds up moving O'Rourke into scoring position. And Cole fielding his position well for out number one. So here's Trevor Colton back. He's a good hitter. Been aboard twice, a double and a walk today. First pitch swinging, slow grounder to short. Lomangino waits on it and gets the out at first. As O'Rourke takes third base, and now there are two away. Cleanup hitter Devin Smith now. Two out in the runner at third. Ball one high. Smith has had a good start to his afternoon. Two at bats, two singles against the right hander Cole. Looking to leave a runner at third base in this fifth inning as he deals 1 0. Foul back. One ball and one strike. Bends back at a pitch that's 
called a strike. The umpire has been calling pitches a few inches off that inside corner to the right-hand hitters. So with that, Cole gets ahead in the count, deals the one-two. That one in the dirt, and Troche able to find it, so no break from O'Rourke at third base. Two, two coming to Smith. Swing and a miss, he got him. So Cole registers another strikeout. The leadoff single is wasted to the bottom of the fifth. Three, one, Brookdale. Christian Bauman to start the home fifth inning for Brookdale, leading three to one. And lays off first pitch ball one. Bauman looking for his first hit of this game. He's fouled out to third and flied out to center 0 for two. Here he rifles one to right field. That one's way back. Barth turning, watching it. And it's gone. And Christian Bauman goes boom. His fifth home run of the year. And Brookdale extends the lead to 4-1. to one. Bauman entered that at bat hitless and hitless no longer as he's got a round tripper. And Ryan Cole takes a curve for a strike. Just got a piece of that one. Brooktail home run total on the season is now at a dozen. Cole has accounted for one of those. And he's also done good work on the mound today and throughout the season. Today he has grounded out and been hit by a pitch. 0 for 1. 1-2 one, on the way. Two balls and two strikes. The next from Yadlin is over for called strike three. So Cole strikes out, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Marcus Johnson. He often goes up there looking to bunt, and that time he couldn't pull back in time. Owen won the count. The lefty hitter today is singled and scored and granted out to first, one for two. Came in with the batting average well north of 400, but he's down in the count here, nothing in two. Yadlin working quickly. Gets him on three pitches. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for the lefty, and it's not often that you see those kind of at-bats from Johnson. It's Olo Mangino with two down. 1-0. and oh. Oh, Mangino is flied to right and taken a called third strike. Yadlin now with... Five strikeouts on his afternoon as he brings the 1-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Base is empty and two out. Fouled away. Brookdale has added a run in this fifth inning. Bauman leading off with a solo blast. And he got all of it. 
Bucks. Fifth home run of the year. Three and one now. And ball four. So Lomangino is on, and that gives Darius Troche a chance in this fifth inning. Troche has already been on twice, doubled to bring in a run, walked, and he scored twice. As the beat goes on for the Brookdale catcher. And he's looking to bunt as Lomangino takes off and arrives on second standing up. Not sure if that was a designed steal. Uh, Lomangino will take it. Stroche has driven in 16 at a four RBI day. Game two on Sunday in the Salem doubleheader. Starting both games behind the plate. It was lifted late in game two to give him the last couple innings off. And he drills this one out to right field. Long run back for Barth, and he runs it down. That's a nice running play by Barth. Ocean's played some good outfield defense today. Brookdale adds one on the Bauman homer after 5-4-1 Jersey Blues. Colin mattis Jad leads off the top of the sixth inning. Game one of this doubleheader. Ryan Cole out there for his sixth inning as he winds and deals ball one. Mattis Chet, Corsione, and Alex Alonzo for the Vikings. As they are down by three runs, it's Brookdale 4-1. to one. one -oh on the way. 2-0 oh the count. Remains to be seen who Brookdale's starting pitcher will be for game two today. Cole going deep into this opener. Two and one. Mattis Chet on the day is singled and flied to right. One for two. Two and two. And a grounder to the right side. Wade over. Makes the overhand toss. And 3-1 on the put out to retire Mattis Chat. One away. Christian Corsione steps in now. Howell, New Jersey native from the right side. And he swings at the first one, and it's a foul ball. Corsione hitless in two trips, struck out and grounded out. Cole gave up the run in the first inning, but nothing since. Four straight scoreless for the righty. And there's a strike. Ahead 0-2. And, Swing and a liner, and that goes into left field for a base hit. Corsione pokes a one out single. And time called as Johnny Johnson makes the slow walk out to the mound. It's 
see how much further they want to go with coal here. Pretty quick conference there, and coal will remain out there. Contend with Alex Alonzo, the Vikings shortstop. Who on the day is 0 for 2, flied out and granded out. He'll be continuing his collegiate career come the fall. Committed to Montclair State University. And he takes up high ball one. Be playing for the Red Hawks. Division three school. The 1-0. Big cut. And it's a ball and a strike. Lonzo showing off the home run swing there. He has let yet to hit a home run. Four driven in to go along with a 231 average. Two balls and a strike. One-out base runner for Cole to deal with here in the sixth. That's Corsion. Cole checks him for coming home with the pitch. A little bit low. He's walked two so far. He's set with the 3-1. And now he's walked three as Alonzo is on, and Vikings have two aboard. And Donnie Kirk coming up, who Cole is yet to retire. As he's singled and walked against him. Kirk representing the tying run at the plate in a 4-1 Brookdale lead. First pitch curve for a strike. Corsione, the base runner at second. Alonzo at first. Ocean batting in this top of the sixth inning with a drive at to right center field, cutting across Lavarco to make a nice running catch. And the runners get back to first and second. Lavarco had a great beat at that ball. Two down in the inning. So it'll be left to Eli McEwen. Uh, the number nine hitter has been up twice and struck out both times, both on called third strikes against Cole. Two on, two out, and a first pitch swing and a miss. Foul tip. It's two of Cole's six strikeouts have been against McEwen. A little slow tapper up the third base side, but it kicks foul. Ocean will only have one more chance in this game, number one, as we play seven inning doubleheaders. Jersey Blues looking to get off to fast start in game one as that pitch is up and away. And time called. Now Cole is ready, and the one-two pitch in the dirt. Trosh stops that one nicely. Right, 
Two and two to McEwen with two on and two out. And the pitch just missed inside. And it's that part of the plate that the home plate umpire has called a few borderline pitches, not that one. So the count full. Cole will have to make another big pitch here. Vikings have stranded six so far. The payoff at the runners going and it's off the plate, ball four. So the bases are loaded and Ocean has their best coming to the plate and Ryan O'Rourke. Freshman is one for three in this game. Cole looking to get one big out here. Tying run now at first base. First pitch swinging foul back. O'Rourke today is one for three. Singled his last time up in the fifth. Entered the day 448 with the batting average. One of three Vikings to... Hit a home run. All three of their home runs came in their last game. They had not homered in their previous seven. Troche able to stop that one, and it's a ball and a strike. Go-ahead run is in the batter's box. Bases full, two out, 4-1 game. Brookdale with the lead and a swing and a miss. Good off-speed pitch from Cole as he had O'Rourke out in front. Now he's one strike away from getting out of this mess. He's ready. And the one-two pitch. No place to put the Ocean third baseman. Now the 2-2. High pop-up on the infield. Wade taking charge of it, and it's Lomangino comes across the pitcher's man to make the catch. Side retired. A big out for Cole as Ocean leaves him loaded in the sixth, and Brookdale holds on to their 4-1 lead. Bottom of the sixth inning, game one of this doubleheader here today. Brookdale and Ocean. And a Region 19 matchup. Brian Goudsward here with you as John Wade leads off and takes the breaking ball in the dirt. 1-0. and Lower third of the Brookdale order up. Leading 4-1. to Yadlin falls behind 2-0. Still out there for his sixth inning, but he's behind on the board. That's that pitch over, and it's 2 and 1. Wade's had a good day at the plate, a single and a double today, 2 for 2. Just off the corner. And Wade takes it for ball 4. So he walks, leading off the bottom of the sixth. Wade on base all three times. Today is Caleb Carter, bats for a third time. 0 for 1 with a walk. Getting started second base. And he squares to bun and takes strike one. Brookdale offense always a threat to add insurance runs, and they can rack them up right now with a three-run lead. Carter's looking to give himself up, but he's taken two strikes now. Yadlin checks the runner at first and comes with the 0-2. 
one and two. Yeah, one came in with an ERA under one in this ocean team. Their staff ERA collectively over eight. Certainly doesn't help giving up 18 runs in one game as that's off the catcher's glove and down to second base goes Wade. Two, two count on Carter. And he goes down swinging. So that's six strikeouts for Brian Yadlin. And now Nick Colbert. Who has hit the ball on the ground. Both of his at bats the last time for a double play. As Brookdale had a chance for a big inning. Ball one outside. But the double play minimized the trouble for Yadlin, and Jersey Blues only scored one. They lead four to one. A ball and a strike. Wade at second with one out. And that one bounces in the dirt. The count two and one. Now the lefty is ready. And his next pitch. Colbert drops down a bunt. Yadlin able to glove it. Throws. Got No, he's safe as they ruled the first baseman was off the bag. Well, Yadlin made a nice play off the mound. Should have had the play in time at first base, but Colton back was not on the base. So Wade now to third, miscue defensively for Ocean, and there are men at the corners with one out. And Nick Lavarco takes a strike. Brooktail leadoff hitter is one for three today, singled in the third, struck out his other two times up. One and one. Wade and Colbert, they're the base runners at the corners. 4-1 Brookdale leads, bottom of the sixth inning. Varco takes off, pitches a strike, and he'll make it sliding. Didn't really have to as there was not a throw made. Colbert with the stolen base. And the one-two pitch in there, strike three called. That's the second out of the inning. Olivarco strikes out for a third time today. And it looks like they are going to put on Bauman intentionally. First base open, probably a good strategy. Brookdale's most dangerous hitter has hit a home run in this game, so he is aboard on the intentional pass. Ryan Cole with the bases loaded. He cracks one pretty deep left center. Going back Smith, he'll have room, and he puts it away. So Brookdale leaves the bases loaded. We head to the seventh. Last licks coming up for Ocean. Brookdale with a 4-1 lead.
West Chance for Ocean as they come up in the top of the seventh down 4-1. But still looking to get a win in the first game of this doubleheader today. New pitcher is John Wade. First pitch in the dirt, ball one. Carl Barth leading off for the Vikings. They have the two, three, and four hitters up. And Wade winds and deals. 2-0 the count. Looking to make Ryan Cole a winner today. Brookdale starter did fine work over his six innings. Allowed one run on six hits. Walked four, struck out six. But Wade's behind now, three and zero. Oh. It's in for the third time this season and has yet to allow an earned run. Three innings. And he walks the leadoff man on four pitches. So she needs one more base runner to get the tying run to the plate. Trevor Colton back batting here. And that one skips away from Trosh and aggressively to second goes Barth. So Wade five pitches, all of them out of the strike zone. As he's Bidding for the save. Cole, who picked up a save on Sunday. And today he was a starter. Wade deals a strike. And it's one and one. Colton back one for three in the game. Doubled and scored back in the first. Walked his next time up before grounding out. Here's the one one. Line to center. And that's down for a base hit. Barth to third. He will hold there. And the Vikings have runners at first and third with nobody out and the tying run coming to the plate. Devin Smith, who has hit one home run this year. Trouble early for Wade to deal with. Righty to righty with the first pitch. A strike. Smith two for three. Two singles. Struck out his last time. All of that against Cole. And with a win would go to 3-0 and on the season. Troche able to find that one. He doesn't allow too many to get behind him. Very good defensive work. Wade is set, and his 1-1 pitch is grounded foul. Game two today will start after a brief break once this one concludes. And we'll have that one for you here on Brookdale TV and YouTube. Wade with a 1-2 pitch. Low 2-2. Two and two. Walk in a single to start the Vikings' seventh. As they try to work their way from behind. 4-1 Brookdale and a 2-2 coming swing and a miss. He got him. John Wade pulling the string with the breaking ball. And Smith, the strikeout victim for the second time. One out in the seventh. Here's Colin Mattis, chat. A one for three day for him. The designated hitter. First pitch. Ball one taken. Barth at third, Colton back at first. And the tying run is at home plate, represented by Mattis Chad, who takes below the knees in the count 2 and 0. Oh.
He's one for three with a single back in inning number one. Widespread stance from the right side. Takes a strike over the inside corner. The 2-1 just got a piece. Christian Corsion is in the on-deck circle. And he will get an opportunity barring a double play ball, which would end this game. 4-1 Brookdale, top seven. 2-2 two -two pitch from Wade. Just missed, and the count runs full. Brookdale was looking to bring him up there. Pitch ruled to have just been out of the zone. And now Wade comes with a payoff pitch. Swinging its hit on the ground and through the hole. Base hit left field. In the score is Barth. Colin Mattis chat with an RBI single to cut the Brookdale lead to 4-2. to two. So runners now at first and second. The tying run is now the man at first base, and he's going to leave for a pinch runner. Seven for 32. That's Evan Hill, who takes Mattis Chat's spot at first base. So they try to get more speed out there. Go-ahead run now at the plate. It's represented by Christian Corsion. One run home in the inning, first pitch. Ball one. That's fouled straight back. Brookdale looking to hold on here with a 4-2 lead now. Have not had many games that have been tight, particularly at home. Saw one close one first game of the doubleheader against Salem, and here we are, same story today. That's line, that's a base hit in the center field. Colton back will be held up at third, and the bases are loaded. So a seventh inning mound conference. And is that going to be it for John Wade? It appears so. So one big out to get. Ocean is threatening. They're within two. 4-2 Brookdale. We've got a pitching change. We'll be right back. Huge spot in this game. Chris DiMaggio called on to try to get the final two outs. Ocean has loaded up the bases. They're within two runs now at 4-2. to two And a strike. Alex Alonzo the batter. One run is scored in the inning. Bases loaded. 4-2 game. Top of the seventh. And game number one of this doubleheader. DiMaggio. Next pitch. In the dirt, that one gets away from Troche, but fortunately it was on the third base side. So no attempt for Colton back to make a run for it as his run doesn't matter. Tying run is at second base. Go ahead run is at first. Lonzo today is 0 for 2 with a walk. 
And the 1-1 one -one from the lefty. Breaking ball hit on the ground. Wide of short. Diving stop. Lomangino. He has no play. And a run scores. It's a one-run game, but Lomangino may have saved it from being a tie game by keeping that ball on the infield. It's an RBI single for Alonzo. Ocean has scored twice in the top of the seventh to get within a run. Donnie Kirk now. And he takes a breaking ball that nearly hit him as it was in the dirt. One and O. Oh. DiMaggio in for the fifth time this season. He's given up six runs in five and two-thirds innings. Hoping that Brookdale can hold on for dear life here. And that one behind him. Hill, Corsione, and Alonzo. They're on the bases. Tying run now at third. Only one out in the inning. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Play the infield back at double play depth. That's what DiMaggio is hoping for. It would make Brookdale a winner in this game number one. Swing it to Chopper to Lomangino, whose only play will be to first, and it's not in time, and the tying run scores. Donnie Kirk with a chopper on the infield. Lomangino played it well, but Kirk too quick. Hill comes in to score the tying run, and Ocean has scored three times in this inning to even it up at four apiece. So Rob Salvatore will be the third Brookdale pitcher of the inning. He faces Eli McEwen and deals strike one. McEwen 0 for 2, pair of strikeouts and a walk. Ocean has gotten even in the game 4-4. Four to four. Three runs home in this top of the seventh, a chance to take the lead with a high fly ball, not all that deep right center. Lavarco makes the catch. They're going to try it. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's cut off. It's a sacrifice fly for Eli McEwen, and the Vikings have come all the way back to take the lead. It's now 5-4. So there are two out in the inning. Brookdale has seen a 4-1 lead become a 5-4 deficit. Ryan O'Rourke, ninth man up in the inning, and he takes one in the dirt. Ryan Cole held Ocean to a run on six hits over his six innings, but this seventh has been problematic for three Brookdale relievers. And the Vikings have scored four times. Pick off play at first and safe. Not too many balls that were hit overly hard. Couple infield hits that helped Ocean get even and then take the lead. And now a high pop up and foul ground and Cole does not have a play. One ball, one strike count on O'Rourke. He's one for four in the game. Single came back in the fifth. Salvatore sets, deals, a strike. So the Jersey Blues will have to rally in the bottom of the seventh inning. And they'll have the right part of the order up, starting with Marcus Johnson. First things first, Salvatore has a big out to get.
Lucian has had five hits in the inning. They've all been singles, one walk. And McEwen delivering the go-ahead run on a sacrifice fly. Two strikes in the count to O'Rourke. The pitch bounced right back to the mound. Fielded by Salvador on the comebacker. That retires the side, but it's a big inning for the Vikings. They score four to take the lead. Uh, Brookdale will try to get even or walk them off in the bottom of the seventh. Now down five to four. Bottom of the seventh inning as Brookdale comes to bat. Now down five to four. And Marcus Johnson takes way high ball one. Johnson's one for three today. Trying to get on and give Brookdale a chance for the walk-off win as he flies one down the left field line. And that'll be well foul. Brian Yadlin, the starting pitcher, looking for the complete game effort. As his team battled back to give him the lead. And trying to get three more outs to get an ocean victory. And a win would put them one game over 500. Brooktail is yet to lose here in Lincroft this season. They're 6-0. But that mark in danger as the pitch to Johnson is in the dirt. Jolo Mangino on deck, and then Darius Troche, middle of the order. There is a strike on the outside corner. Yadlin looking for his first complete game of the season. As he winds and deals, pulled foul. Johnson's one hit came back in. The second inning when Brookdale scored two. They scored two in the second, one apiece in the fourth and the fifth. But a blown lead in the top of the seventh has them down. It's the breaking ball just off the inside corner, and Yadlin wanted that one badly. But he didn't get it. Johnson has another life with the pitch. Inside, ball four, leadoff man on, and the tying run. Oh, Lomangino, go ahead, run in the box. Lefty goes from the stretch, checks the runner, the first pitch, breaking ball over for a strike. Yadlin has struck out seven today. His 0-1 pitch, nubbed foul. And he's ahead in the count. Lomancino today 0 for 2 with a walk. Walked his last time up in the fifth. Lead off man aboard for Brookdale, bottom seven. And the 0-2 pitch. That just missed and Yadlin is getting frustrated now. He thought he had a pitch to Johnson that would have struck him out. It was called the ball. Johnson worked the walk. The next to Lomangino. Runner goes. Pitch way outside. Stolen base. Johnson adds to his team high total. His 13th. In scoring position, representing the tying run. And the 2-2 to Lomangino, inside. <laughs> Payoff pitch, foul back. Drama builds in this bottom of the seventh inning as the lefty is ready. And that was payoff pitch. Just, no, I thought it was just off the outside corner, but on the half swing, he fell, tipped it for strike three. 
So that's the first out. Pass the baton to Darius Troche. One for two with a walk today. He scored two runs. Tying run at second. The first pitch to Troche. A strike. He has been such a tough out all season. Has hits in about half of his at-bats this year. And now would be an awfully good time for another one. Trying to pick up that tying run at second base. That's where Johnson takes his lead. And Yadlin ready with an 0-1. Taken for a strike, and he's ahead in the count. Ahead 0-2. Off the outside. One ball, two strikes. Yadlin comes home with it. High and away with the off-speed pitch and the count even. I four ocean leads. Brookdale looking to back get back even here as they bat in the bottom of the seventh. Up high, and from 0-2, the count has run full. Waiting next is John Wade. Roche with a high pop-up in foul ground, and that'll be out of play. Johnson is at second. One out in the inning. 5-4 Ocean looking to Pick up the win and strike three called as Yadlin gets Troche. And he strikes out a very good hitter. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts and Brookdale is down to their final out. And it's Luca Lamira now to take the turn. There's Wade's spot in the order. He came out because he came in on the mound. So Lamira the final hope. Johnson started the inning with a walk, hoping not to be stranded at second, representing the tying run. Pitch to Lamira, a strike. Lamira, a 261 hitter. No homers, four driven in. A ball and a strike. Hard working outing for Brian Yadlin. Hoping to get one more out for the complete game victory. What would be a come from behind effort for Ocean in this game one. 1-1 one, one pitch to Lamira. 2-1 the count. In tight, and another three ball count. It's three and one on Lamira. The on deck batter is Caleb Carter. Brookdale runs short in the seventh, and ball four. The 
winning run is now on base at first. Tying run Johnson remains at second. And here is Carter. It's 0 for 2 with a walk today. Ball one. And he takes a strike. Two walks and two strikeouts in the inning for Yadlin. He needs one more out to make him a winner. Ready with the 1-1. Just a little bit high. So Carter's gotten ahead in the count. Looking to be the hero with two out. And he's got the bat. Pitch that ran inside. Almost looked like it hit him, but it got a piece of the bat. So now Brookdale is down to their final strike. Yadlin got him his last time up in the sixth. Two on, two out. The lefty comes set. Yadlin to Carter with the 2-2. It goes to the backstop, and the runners move to second and third. Talk about a pressure situation. Johnson the tying run at third. The potential winning run, Lamira, is at second. It's a full count on Caleb Carter. The lefty brings the payoff pitch. Swing and he just got a piece. So he stays alive by a thread. First space open, Nick Colbert on deck. Again, the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him, and that'll end the ball game. So Brookdale falls a run short in this game number one this afternoon as Ocean gets the come-from-behind victory, 5-4 to four the final. Carter strikes out to end it. Brookdale led 4-1 to one going to the top of the seventh, but Ocean scored four times in that inning to take the lead. And they get the final three out, says Brian Yadlin is a complete game winner. And Brookdale will look to salvage a split of the doubleheader in game two today. Ocean wins it 5-4. to four. Our coverage continues here on Brookdale TV. We thank you for joining us. We'll see you for game two coming right up.